Job Train's Role Model Award is special this year. It's given always to someone whose character and achievements provide inspiration and standards for Job Train students to emulate. This year's winner is Job Train's very own Executive Director, Sharon Williams. Sharon started at Job Train as a GED instructor in 1973. She must have been pretty special because she became Director of Development in 1978 and then Executive Director in 1979. Her 40 years of dedication and boundless energy resulted in what you're experiencing this morning, the phenomenal development and success of Job Train. Sharon, yeah, more, 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 more. Before I get to the finish the introduction, it should be like the State of the Union address, about seven interruptions for applause. Sharon leads with exactly what the characters in The Wizard of Oz were seeking, heart, brains, and courage. The staff and students have asked me to thank Sharon for her open mind and open door, her compassion and soft shoulder to cry on. The traditions, the birthday bananas, symbolic rock, she has a rock that has inside it a beautiful, on the outside it looks rough, and she says that's the way we all are, just need to be polished up because we're beautiful inside. The bell ringings, every time someone gets a job at Job Train, they ring a bell out in the lobby. The payday candy bars, a long-suffered joke that, that Sharon does every time someone gets a job. You know, you have to wait a while before you get paid. She, have you gotten a payday yet? When's your payday? And they say, well, I don't get paid. So when she hands them a payday candy bar. <laughs> Motivational sessions, trainee of the month awards, staff retreats, this event, the Breakfast of Champions, and the thousands of everyday decisions and kindnesses with which she leads Job Train. This is Sharon's last Breakfast of Champions as Job Train's leader. Please congratulate Sharon Williams. sit down now. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, I can, I can think of no greater honor in life than to be considered a role model to our trainees. This is a very big moment for me. If I'm worthy of being their role model, it's only because they and job train inspired me to be someone I could never, ever have been without them. I very rarely talk about my personal story, but I do want to share it with you this morning so that you can understand why this award means so much to me. The first part of my life was a fairy tale. I was raised in Burlingame, had a wonderful childhood, graduated from UOP, traveled in Europe, lived for a brief time in Spain. And when I returned home in 1968, I returned to a changed world, a whole new culture. I married my high school sweetheart in the summer of love, and we moved to a sparsely populated area in Shasta County where I taught high school and he opened a music store in a nearby town. A year and a half later, we had a baby girl. And I started home teaching part-time because I could take my baby with me. My husband lost interest in the music store and he lost interest in us. I watched helplessly 
is he sank deeper into the psychedelic drug scene. We had less and less money to live on. I knew my family was there for me, but I felt ashamed to ask for help. I thought I could manage. When Granny Goose harvested their potato fields, I gathered up the potatoes that were left behind so we had something to eat. When our car broke down, I picked through the trash site of the Intermountain Fair's Destruction Derby to find parts. The washing machine broke, the phone was disconnected, PG&E threatened to turn off our power, and I knew people were gossiping about us. I finally ran out of options and optimism when the baby got sick. I packed our belongings, and the two of us moved to my parents' home in Burlingame. We were finally safe, but I felt like a complete failure. And then I was hired. I'm going to cry. <laughs> But then I was hired by OICW to teach GED prep. You know, I was just getting back on my feet myself, and all of a sudden I had this wonderful opportunity to help other people. I understood poverty. I knew what my students were going through. And I loved OICW because we gave people a chance. I realized then what I firmly believe now, that the best social service program in the world is a job. And that when you are feeling defeated and alone, the tiniest glimmer of hope makes a difference. This is my 40th year with Job Train, and my retirement is right around the corner. Am I really their role model? I hope so. They're my role models. Job trained students are the most resilient, determined, upbeat people I have ever known. I want you to meet them. I want you to meet the people who have made my life so amazing, my job trained family. First, the job trained staff board and volunteers. Would the job trained staff board and volunteers stand up so everybody can see you, you wonderful people. You too, Wade. <laughs> everybody up. <laughs> and now I want you to meet our trainees, class by class. So students, when I call your class out, I want you to stand up, even if you got separated because of our crazy seating stuff this morning. <laughs> but when I say your class, I want you to stand up. I'm going to start with culinary arts. <laughs> you're, you're awfully quiet back there. <laughs> Office skills. <laughs> They're cool. You know, th I have to just tell you, there was a time when we did everything we could to have gender balance in our classrooms. It just never worked. And you'll notice today when, when you hear from the, from the students, they, they separate themselves out and do what they want to do. OK, project build. Are they cool or what? Compu computer service tech. Where are they? Oh, there they are. And 
waiting to hear what you came up with. <laughs> What? <laughs> Yay. Medical office assistant. Yay. Laborers. Where are they? Are they? <laughs> you know, it's amazing. The, the project build and laborers classes were at the annex. So they moved back in and they moved in with the, the main program now. And it is so much fun. It is so exciting every day to just, you know, <laughs> bang, 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 bang. It's amazingly noisy and energetic and, and wonderful. Better with them there. Um, Professional health care workers. Woo. There they are. Yay. Green Tech Solar. Go solar, go green. Okay. The Caltrans work crews. Where are they? There they are. Has anybody, what we threw? <laughs> Has anybody here seen them on the side of the road? Do you see that that big um, van with the big the circle and and job train on it? That's these guys. So they're they're really doing a great job out there. And finally, GED prep, GED preparation. They're the GED students. They've been practicing. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. So those are, those are our students, it's our staff, our volunteers. This is the job train family. There's nothing on earth like it. The honor today is very special to me, but the real honor is that I've been able to spend my life with this group. How can anybody spend their days with people like this and not be happy? and not feel grateful, and not want to do everything possible to help them transform their lives. I am so lucky. I've had 40 amazing years at Job Train, and 30 years married to my wonderful husband, Will. So Will's over there, he's here this morning, and today is his birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, darling. <laughs> Thank you, Will, for always backing me up and sharing my values and sharing our time and energy with Job Train. And thank you, Job Train, for giving my life purpose. And thank you, all of you, for supporting this wonderful organization. Thank you. Thank you.